Okay, some news coming out of Watford is that they've sacked Javi Gracia and replaced him with the former manager, Kike Sanchez Flores. Um, this has all happened during the England Bulgaria match at half time. Uh, an announcement was made that Javi Gracia had been relieved of his managerial duties and that a statement has said that they had an announcement pending very, very shortly. Uh, before the end of the match, uh, Kike Sanchez Flores has been named as uh, Gracia's replacement. Now, Kike Sanchez Flores managed the club in 2015 2016. He's since managed in China and, and, and outside the Premier League since he left in 2016. The situation has come about because Watford have one point in four games. Um, this has to be the quickest managerial sacking uh, ever for a start of a season to now. Uh, we know Javi Gracia had been there for a while. But uh, Frank de Burr, I believe, was five games into a season. This is four games into a season. Uh, the managerial merry-go-round continues. Now, you have to you have to have thought that this was in the pipeline before the international break. There's no way you just fire someone and hire someone the same day. I think they, they clearly the club had lost confidence in, in Gracia uh, and, his, and his time in, in charge. Uh, Kike sanchez Flores has clearly been lined up some time ago as a replacement. Uh, but on another side note, uh, since uh, Gianfranco Zola was let go in December 2013, there have been nine managerial appointments in just under six years. Uh, that is a lot of managerial turnover. This has got to be unsettling for the players because we've seen other cases where uh, clubs had a poor start to the season and they keep faith with a manager. Nigel Pearson at Leicester the year before they won the Premier League and they can turn the situation around it and get out of trouble or regain some form. Um, I do say this, clubs that regularly change their manager or regularly sack and, and replace, Chelsea notwithstanding obviously, uh, don't have a lot of success. Now, since Watford have been back in the Premier League, they've been to an FA Cup semi-final and an FA Cup final, although they did obviously suffer that record-breaking, well, record-equalling defeat of a 6-0 to Man City at the end of last season. That notwithstanding, they haven't won any silverware. Uh, while the team have slowly been climbing the table, could that have momentum of stalled? Time will tell whether rehiring Kike Sanchez Flores is the right move and whether sacking Gracia uh, was the right move. Uh, I honestly believe we've got to give managers time. Uh, and four games is a very small sample size to say, oh, this, uh, this, this season's not going very well, we're going to change manager. Uh, Javi Gracia did a really good job last season uh, and he was the longest serving manager since Watford have been back in the Premier League. They do change their managers regularly. And what I will say is this. Every manager they bring in has a similar philosophy with some tweaks to it. So there is a, clearly a club philosophy of how to play the game and how to develop the players. But surely this has got to be unsettling for that squad. Now. And has this squad reached its, its, its zenith? And is it, has it reached its peak? And, 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 and is this the sign of uh, going in the other direction, going downhill? Um, time will tell. Uh, Kike Sanchez Flores did a very good job in 2015-2016 season. Uh, I have no doubt that he's a very capable manager. Uh, do I think Javi Gracia was badly treated? Uh, again, uh, we'll, uh, more statements will come out. Uh, we'll find out how long Kike Sanchez Flores has been given as a contract. But Watford, under this current ownership, are not very keen on having managers stick around for some reason. Um, I... We'll see what happens, we'll see where they end up, we'll see if their form can turn around, we'll see uh, after the international break when the players come back and the squad reconvenes uh, how their form changes. If they can win their first game or, or get a draw and a win in their first couple of games under Sanchez Flores, then yes, it's the correct decision if the form turns around. If the form doesn't turn around, was that a mistake to sack Javi Gracia? But time will tell. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. If you are a Watford fan, I would like to hear from you. Uh, I don't often have reason to do a video on Watford, but this managerial turnaround with nine managers in, in just under six years is, is something. Um, and it's becoming more common for a lot of clubs. But I, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if Kike Sanchez-Flores can, can steady the ship and turn things around in his second spell. And hopefully Javi Gracia gets some work very, very soon because I think he's a very capable manager in himself and did a, and did a great job with... I wouldn't say limited resources, but lesser resources than other clubs in the Premier League in, in the top half of the table last season. He did a very, very good job. And uh, was he harshly dealt with here? We shall see. But he did coach a team to the, a record equaling defeat in an FA Cup final of a 6 0 to Man City at the end of last season, which is something you don't particularly want on your resume. But he got them to a Cup final. And we'll see what happens. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.